December 26th, Blessed Jeremy Lambertengi, Confessor, Third Order. Born at Como, Italy, Jeremy Lambertengi was the son of a family which belonged to the nobility. After a youth spent in innocence and the practices of piety, he joined the Third Order regular and made such rapid progress in virtue that he soon reached a high degree of sanctity. After his ordination to the priesthood, he devoted most of his time to the preaching of the Word of God. In this capacity, he reaped a rich harvest of souls. One reason being the fact that God gave special efficacy to his apostolic work by miracles. Also after his death in 1513, God testified to the holiness of his life by many miracles, and he has been honored as a saint ever since. Because of the suppression of convents in Italy, his remains have been transferred several times from one place to another, and they now rest in the cathedral at Forlì in the Romagna, where they are held in great veneration. Toward the end of the 19th century, petitions were sent to the Holy See requesting official approval of the cult of Blessed Jeremy, which had been kept up for some four centuries. On the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is a Christian custom. Recent investigations prove that there is no vestige of anything pagan or Protestant about it. Rather, it originated in Catholic Alsace. In fact, when it was first introduced, which was in the middle of the 17th century, it was strongly opposed by the Protestants. Nevertheless, it has been introduced everywhere and cannot be separated from the feast of Christmas. One is tempted to apply to it the words of Scripture. The tree was great and strong. The sight of it was even to the ends of all the earth. Daniel 4.8 Let us then keep up the beautiful custom of the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is a custom full of meaning. Being a tree of the kind that does not wither, it is a figure of the tree of life in the midst of paradise, Genesis 2.9. Its fruits were to give us eternal life, but sin prevented that. Through the babe lying in the crib, we can once more partake of its fruits, for he is the life who has come that we may have life. The lights on the Christmas tree remind us of him whom St. John calls the true light which enlightens every man who comes into this world. John 1, nine. This light is, for the time being, hidden in the stable in the form of a little child. How well crib and Christmas tree fit together. The Christmas tree is a consoling custom. Many beautiful, as well as tasty things are hung on its branches, and Christmas gifts lie at its base. Why all this? In order to direct our thoughts to the many graces we receive through our redemption, from the child lying in the crib, God's gift to us, without whom we should have been lost. As you stand before the Christmas tree, thank God for his great love of mankind, and vow to love him sincerely in return. Prayer of the Church. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we who are filled with the new light of thy incarnate word may show forth in our works that which by faith shineth in our minds through the same Christ our Lord. Blessed Jeremy Lambertengi, pray for us. Thank you.